Okay, we're going to write a for loop to count by sevens, essentially, uh, all the way up to 500. So let's go ahead and set up our for loop. Uh, go ahead and have my structure set up. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and set up my counter. So let i equal zero. And as long as i is less than or equal to 500. And so I'm going to have this set up first. I'm going to leave this last piece of how, uh, how to iterate over it once I've created my, uh, my content. So for let i it start at zero uh, and go all the way up to 500. <clears throat> and while this happens, every time it goes through this iteration, I want you just to print i. I want, I want to print what the counter is, because again, the counter will change uh, up to 500. It'll basically count from one to 500. Um, and so if I go here and I do i++, which is going to be the general way we've done it, <clears throat> where um, the plus plus equals basically add one to it every time, and we run here, you'll see that it's going to go all the way and go to 500. Okay, because um, starting at zero. And so this is essentially, this is counting it out for you. So you can physically see that it is, uh, the counter is changing every time it does the iteration. Now I want to do it by sevens. So <clears throat> I plus plus equals um, adding one. If I do this, it's going to add, oops, plus equals. Oh, I ran into a, Hold on. It's called a um, an infinite loop. The way I wrote it, it will never not end. So I have to wait for this to fix. Okay, exit page. All right, let's try it again. All right, uh, plus equals seven. And so what happened then <clears throat> is it counted by sevens. So for let i equal zero, as long as i is less than 500, uh, print i, but do it every seven times, which is why it goes 0, 7, 14. And notice that it is 497 since it doesn't go into an equal number. Um, it, uh, it doesn't go all the way through 500 because the next one would be greater than 500 be 501 or 502. <clears throat> so that's how you count my sevens. Now, again, if I started with... I did, but I start off at 500, and as long as I is greater than or equal to 1, we can, now if I hit run, and this is going to come up with a, it's, it's going to come up with a crazy thing because it's, uh, it's always going to be workable. It's always going to be there. So therefore, I created a loop that doesn't work. <clears throat> I would need to... Refix it, exit page, reload, and then I would go subtracting. And this will start at 500 and go all the way down. So you can go up and down. Main thing is just knowing that it's going to be either plus, plus will go up one each time, minus, minus goes down one each time, or plus equals eight will go up eight every time, or minus equals eight will go down eight every time. 